Hey guys, Rivers here from TechConnect. Today I want to show you this mini Windows PC from Pepper Jobs. Pepper Jobs is a company formed by engineers from Minix, which you may have heard of if you've watched my channel before. Anyway, this mini PC is really feature packed, so let's take a closer look. First off, let's take a look at one of my favorite features on this guy, and that is the ability to run up to three 4K60 displays, all from this one tiny PC. Here I'm testing it with two monitors in extended desktop mode, one running from HDMI, the other from USB 3. These monitors are different resolutions too, but it handled it well. Here's one helpful tip when connecting multiple desktops. Plug in your second monitor, then reboot the mini PC, and you should get your second display coming up then. Then you can go in and configure the extended desktop. Another thing I really like about the Pepper Jobs mini PC is all the ports and upgrade options that it packs, especially for such a small form factor. On the back, you've got your audio out and input. You've got a USB type C port, which can also be used to drive a secondary display. You've got HDMI 2.0 and DisplayPort, all of which can display at 4K, plus gigabit ethernet thrown in as well. On the side, you've got even more ports, including another USB type C, two USB 3 ports, and a micro SD card slot, as well as your power button. Now internally, it's also got some other nice features, including dual band AC Wi-Fi, which means you have nice fast wireless connection. It's got 64 gigabytes of flash memory storage, which is a lot better because a lot of these have come with 32 in the past and that's not quite enough. It's also got four gigs of DDR4 memory, and an Intel Gemini Lake processor in 4100. And the nice thing about this processor is it actually has a heat sink built on, but it's completely quiet. The only way you know it's there is sometimes you put your hand on the side of the PC and you feel a little bit of warm air coming out of it. But this means that it's not gonna throttle and slow down when you're running heavier tasks, and it's gonna be able to maintain its higher performance. Now let's check out a quick speed test. So I've got a 1.3 gigabyte file on this thumb drive, and I'm gonna copy it to the desktop to see how fast the hard drive is on this mini PC. So this is actually testing the right speed of the flash memory, and I wanted to check this because some of these minis use slower memory, but I was actually surprised at how quickly it wrote. It only took about 10 and a half seconds to copy the whole 1.3 gigabyte file. I'll have some more benchmarks at the end of this video. Now, we come to one of the things that I think is one of the coolest parts about this mini PC, and that is that it's upgradable. You can upgrade both the DRAM and the SSD, you can add a second one. So you can go all the way up to 16 gigs on the DRAM and up to 500 gigs on the SSD. So that's what I did, I went with a 500 gig SSD. Now this guy can accept both types of M.2 SSDs, an NVMe in 1X mode or a serial ATA M.2 drive like the one I have right here. And luckily for us, DRAM and flash memory have dropped to insanely low prices right now. I'll have a link to where I got my SSD in the video description and some DRAM that should work on this guy as well. Real quickly, I'm gonna go into how I added the new disk. Uh, go to the bottom where you type in, type in disk manager. That'll bring up the disk management utility. Here I chose the GTP because I don't need the drive to be compatible with older versions of Windows. Next, you right click on the drive that you just installed and choose new simple volume. Make sure that it's the drive you just installed and not the original drive or it'll erase everything. Now, if you just wanted to add your M.2 drive as an additional drive, you're done right here. You have extra storage. But if you want the system to run a little bit faster, you actually can clone your existing drive over to the drive and it'll run a little bit faster and all the storage will be on one drive. So the way I did it is I actually cloned the existing drive over to the new drive and I used Peregrine's OS migration software to do that. I then rebooted, went into the BIOS. There's an option that says SCC EMMC support. I disabled that. Then I changed the boot order for the new drive to be the first drive to boot up, save changes, and it configured for a little bit. And then I was up and running with my new drive as the primary boot drive with an exact copy of Windows on there as well. Now let's talk about other hardware besides the hard drive for a minute. A remote control is really nice to have if you're gonna use this for a media player or maybe use it for presentations or education. And this guy right here is actually the Pepper Jobs remote control and it's one of the best air mouse remote controls that I've used. It's very accurate, it has a good range and it has a whole bunch of different buttons that can control just about every aspect of Windows. It's even backlit when it comes out of sleep mode so you can tell which buttons you're hitting. I have a whole separate video on this remote if you want. I'll have a link to it in the description at the end of this video. 
I'd also consider a few other accessories such as a small wireless keyboard and mouse, a monitor, and a USB hub. I don't know if I'd recommend this particular hub because it's not powered, so it won't run some accessories that need more power like hard drives. I'll link to a few good accessories in the description down below. Now I also ran a few benchmarks and tests on the Pepper Jobs Mini PC, so let me share with you the results. First up is Geekbench, and we got a score of 4716. This is actually a pretty good score for one of these mini PCs. A lot of the Android ones score a bit lower than this. Next, I tested video encoding using Handbrake and a 4K video encoded into H.265. We got a very respectable 44 frames per second. This was using the Intel optimized QSV H.265 codec. Using the non-optimized H.264, we came in at 29 frames per second and in H.265 about 5 frames per second. And finally I ran Crystal Disk Mark to see how the built-in SSD performed. It got good scores which were actually better than most spinning hard drives I've used. Next however, I ran the same benchmark on the newly installed M.2 SSD and all I can say is wow, that upgrade was a big improvement. You can see that the new scores were roughly doubled in almost every test. One test, the sequential writes, actually increased by over five times. So this should make a nice performance increase. And one last thing, this guy comes with a full version of Windows 10 Professional. To sum up this Pepper Jobs mini PC, it has got a great minimalist design with good hardware and expansive ports and upgradability. It would be the perfect PC for media playback, web surfing, office applications, presentation, digital signage, or as a Plex media server or player. I'll have an Amazon link to where you can get one in the video description down below, as well as all the hardware and software that you saw in the video. If you like this video, please hit that like button and be sure and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and as always, aloha.